If you've ever been in a relationship with someone significantly older or younger, you've undoubtedly thought about who will likely die first. Or maybe it never occurred to you, but it probably will now. If you have thought about it, it might have even kept you from being too serious. But death is unpredictable and tomorrow is never promised. I had a patient one time dying of cancer who was 40 and his girlfriend was 60. They had been together for 20 years. He was head over heels in love with her and she with him. He had tried over and over to get her to marry him, but she would never agree. She always thought that the age difference meant that she was going to die first and she didn't want to make him a widower. But now here he was in our hospice care center dying before her. Being married was important to him, not just because he wanted to be able to call her his wife. He wanted to make sure that she got everything that she was entitled to after all of those years that they were together. So he asked her one final time if she would agree to marry him. Can you guess? She said yes. Fortunately, in hospice, we have chaplains. Mars was happy to perform the ceremony, which we held in our little chapel at our hospice care center. They were able to be husband and wife for a few more weeks after that, and then he died. But he died peacefully, married to the love of his life, who sat by his side when he took his last breaths.